I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Karen. I serve the Lord in the throne of grace. Wow, come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released on the dry bones. Oh, Father, we don't get up in the morning without thanking you. We're no longer a slave to sin. Lord, I thank you 2,000 years ago. The image of God, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, came to the earth, was nailed to that cross, and paid our sin debt with his own blood that today we can say, wow, I'm no longer a captive to Satan. I'm debt free by the blood of Jesus. It is written, get behind me, Satan. I will serve my God and him only. Wow, it's a day of good news. Now I wanna to talk to you today about deliverance. And Lord, I ask that these words go deep and Lord, anyone out there that's struggling, let the breath of God be released, God, and the blood of the Lamb. Lord, release angels right now to prepare your people for a mighty deliverance in Jesus' name. I'm in Mark 9, verse 14. When he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude, and the scribes were disputing with him. So here the Lord, this is God in the flesh, Jesus Christ, image of God walks up there and the scribes are fighting with the disciples. Immediately they saw him and the people were greatly amazed and running to him, greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? And one of the crowd answered, teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And whenever he seizes him, he throws him down and he foams at the mouth and he gnashes his teeth and he becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast him out, but they could not. He answered and he said, O oh, faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought him to him and he saw him immediately. The spirit convulsed him, fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. And he asked his father, how long has this been happening? And he said, from childhood. And he says, how often has he thrown him? And the father said, he's thrown him both into the fire and the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion and help us. And the Lord said, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Come on, this is the mouth of God speaking. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believe. All things, not some things. All things are possible to him who believe. It is written right here, verse 23. Immediately the father of the child cried out and he said, Lord, I believe. Help me with my unbelief. And maybe that's you out there. Lord, help us with our unbelief. Help us with our unbelief. I don't know why it is, but I mean, sometimes in churches, it's a pretty, sometimes, you know, you're visiting, someone's got a demon, it's a bit stiff. And then you go out there on the streets and we're in the slums. And I mean, before we can even finish praying, demons are, are coming out of people. Uh, they are manifesting, convulsing. I mean, this is the ministry God's given us. Immediately, the Father, he, he says, I believe, I believe, help me with my unbelief. Jesus saw the people came running together. He rebuked the unclean spirit, deaf and dumb spirit. I command you to come out of him and enter him no more. Now, I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to pray because we're gonna find out later. He told his disciples, you know, they says, why couldn't we get this one out? He said, because you weren't, you know, the, you have to fast and you have to pray. Now, I wanna say something, you know, our, we fast all the time. You can't expect this young guy who's foaming at the mouth, being thrown into the fire in the river, you can't expect him to start fasting. So it's you, people of God, you're the disciples. You're the ones, you fast, you lay your life down for your brother. You skip lunch, skip breakfast, and go out there and cast that demon out. And look what it says. 
It says, the Lord says, deaf and dumb spirit. Now I'm going to pray right now for anyone that's got an unclean spirit. Anyone that's got a deaf and dumb spirit. I've seen so many ears open up. I've had people say, I can hear from young uh, children to old men. I can hear, I can hear, I can hear. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you. 2,000 years ago, you bought this healing for who's ever out there right now, God, you bought this healing. Deaf and dumb spirit, unclean spirit, come out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you, unclean spirit. The Lord rebuke you, deaf and dumb spirit. Let my people go, says the spirit of the Lord. The curse is broken. The healing was bought 2,000 years ago when the nail went through your hand. Deaf and dumb, unclean spirit, out by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you annul the covenant they've made with death. Lord, I ask that you forgive the sins, break the curse of inequity off of God, the sins of the fathers, break it off them. Lord, liberate your people, liberate your people. Just like right now, it says the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly and came out of him. And he became as one dead. And the men said, he is dead. And Jesus just took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And, he, and it, then he came back to the house. So Lord, I thank you right now to lift up your people by the hand. Lift up your people by the hand. Deaf and dumb and unclean spirit, the Lord rebuke you. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let my people go, says the Spirit of the Lord. And Lord, I thank you right now for just lifting those people that are possessed up, washing them in your blood, and liberating them, God. Liberating them, God. Because you took the nail, you took the stroke, that that captive could be free right now. Flood them with your Holy Spirit, God. Lord, let them just feel the love of God washing over them. Wash them, wash them, wash them, God. Wash them in your blood and flood them with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit, God, flood their hearts with the love of God and set those captives free. And the disciple says, why couldn't we do this? And he said, this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. Come on, people of God. Lay your life down and start fasting and praying for those that are possessed. Not one time did Jesus say, go take, you know, some kind of medication. He cast the demons out. He liberated the captives. We've been liberated and that's our job. We're free. Liberate those around you. Wow. This is good news from the throne of grace. Wow. God bless you.